Hey everybody, Technically Jeff here, and one of my biggest pet peeves with my EV6 is the lack of home link in the car. So I have to use a garage door opener like this. Basically everybody who has a light or a wind trim EV6 has to do that with their garage because our cars don't come with home link. The GT line and the GT does come with home link and you can pay extra uh, as an accessory to get the home link mirror. You can also buy it aftermarket from various places for around $250. So I've been debating getting one for my EV6, but I got to thinking there's a lot of different Kia and Hyundai vehicles out there that have home link. So I started looking online and I actually found this one on eBay. It's a slightly used one from a Hyundai Santa Fe, but it looks exactly the same as the Kia EV6 one. So I'm gonna try installing this and see if I can get home link that way. So here's my current mirror, and here is the used one I got off eBay for only $100. And they look basically the same, just the new one has these home link buttons on the bottom to control the garage door. I'm excited to try this out. I think this will be a direct fit. So let's get the access panel off the shroud and get that factory mirror out. So I'll start by pulling the mirror down some, and then I'll pop out the access panel from my Fitcam Mix mirror shroud. This would be the same with the regular mirror shroud as well. I just have the integrated Fitcam X dash cam. Side note, I'm still very happy with this dash cam, so check out that review if you haven't already. And then I'll go ahead and remove the connector cable here by pushing up on the little tab and sliding it out. That's what will power the new mirror. I'll give you a little closer view here. This part slides onto a piece back there, and there's a set screw that we'll take out. You can't really see it there. I'll go ahead and show you on the new mirror where it will go. You can see this hole here. It just screws in and locks it in place. So let's go ahead and take that out. You need a Torx T20 screwdriver. And I'll just unscrew it. Careful not to drop the screw behind the shroud or else I'll have to take the entire shroud off. And there we go. And now the mirror just slides right out. So here I have both mirrors side by side and they look basically identical. We have the factory mirror and connector here. And here is the new one. You can see the home link buttons on the bottom. And they look basically the same, so I'm very confident this will work. The connectors look the same. And it should be a direct replacement. Now I'll go ahead and show you the piece that it mounts to. You can see the indent there where the screw goes in and locks it in place. So let's get this new one installed. We'll just slide it back on the mount. Make sure it's a tight fit and then we'll put the screw in. Now it's locked in tight and good to go. Now I'll go ahead and pull the mirror down and plug in the power connector. I do have a little more cable here because of the Fitcam X dash cam. This is where it gets its power. Just as an FYI. And it slides right in perfectly.
Now I'll go ahead and put the access cover back on. Got to make sure that FitCam X cable is out of the way of the clips. And there we go. Now it is fully installed. And it looks good. Now let's program it and see how it works. So the car has to be on for it to work. That's a security feature. And we'll start by holding the outside buttons here until it starts flashing. There we go. Now we'll push the button we want to program and then hold the button on the manual garage door opener. Now it's flashing green, so that should be it. And there we go. It is working. It even shows which way my garage door opener is going, which is pretty neat. And it lights green when it's done. Now let's open it. All right. It's working great. I'm really excited about this. It looks just like the old one, but now has the built-in home link for the garage. It has the same light sensor on the back for the auto dimming feature. And it works perfectly. I hope this is helpful for you guys too. And again, I got this off eBay for just $100. It was $109 or best offer and they accepted $100. And there are a lot on eBay too. Some are the borderless style like this, others have bigger borders, but honestly those would probably work too. There's another one that looks just like this one that's advertised for a Hyundai Elantra or a Tucson for $126. I'll post a link in the description for an eBay search that pulls up a lot of Homelink, Kia, and Hyundai mirrors. And of course you could always buy an official one for the EV6 for around $250 to $300 too if you would like. Those are on eBay as well. So yeah, I'm really glad that worked. This is something that has been, like I said, a big pet peeve of mine for a year and a half now. And I'm glad to finally have an integrated home link system in the car as opposed to that separate garage door opener there. So anyway, let me know if you guys have any questions regarding the installation of the home link mirror. Let me know if you have any questions about anything related to the EV6. I'm always glad to help you guys out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos. I got a lot coming and I will see you guys in the next video.